I'll show you guys how you guys can defeat all the zombies and all the zombies' weaknesses in Plants vs. Zombies 2. Animal zombies' weakness is the bloomerang, as it can actually head, it can go up front and hit you, the zombies in the back, hitting them double damage. The Anubis zombie's weakness is the Grave Buster. It does not kill the zombie, but what it does is actually it, it takes down the tombstones that it creates, making it a lot easy for you to actually kill the zombie. The Explore zombie's weakness is the Iceberg Lettuce. Yet again, it does not kill the zombie, but it actually extinguishes his flame making it a lot easier for you to kill him without burning all your plants. Pharaoh Zombie's weakness is the Bonk Choid. With 12 good shots out of the Bonk Choid, it would be capable enough of destroying its shell, leaving it with, leaving it with vulnerable skin, being able enough to knock out and defeat the zombie. The Swashbuckler Zombie's weakness is the Spring Bean. The, sp the Swashbuckler Zombie will come swinging from a rope onto your lane, and it if, if you use the Spring Bean and plant it near the, the seawater planks, it will spring the Swashbuckler Zombie back into the ocean. The Seagull Zombie's weakness is the Colonel Pole. When the zombie comes in, it will fly across the seas, and it will not stop, and it will fly all over your potato mines and stuff. When you use the kernel pole, it will shoot out corn, and it will eventually sh um, throw out large butters, and then it will hit it, it will hit the seagull zombie, and then it will be able to defeat it. The barrel zombie's weakness is the spike weed. When the barrel zombie comes into a lane, it will roll over all your plants. But when you have the spike weed in handy, it will it will break open the barrel. To make it even better, if you have the spike rock with you, it will destroy three barrels at a time. Isn't that useful? The imp cannon's weakness is the coconut cannon. The coconut cannon can shoot out coconuts that are explosive and that are extremely damaging. And because the imp cannons are so durable, this one can explode those up and can actually and can actually tear them apart with only one of them. However, Try to be quick as you can, because if wait too long, it will actually spread out all of its imps. It will break apart and explode all of its imps at one, once. But if you use it properly, then you'll be able to, de to defeat the imp cannon. The poncho zombie's weakness is the chili bean. Once devoured by the poncho zombie, he will gas until he dies, and you won't have to deal with his heating um, shield. The prospector zombie's weakness is the split pea. When the prospector zombie appears on the on the lane on a lane, he has dynamite that that lights up and that causes him to explode all the way to the other side of the map. And he instead of going to the egg and going into the into the house, he actually goes back and eats all your zombies. You really have to make sure that you have a back. A, like a, a plant that can um go back when it needs to like a back range attack because if not then you're basically screwed so yeah but i think that you got it under control if you have the split pea the chicken wrangler zombie's weakness is the lightning reed once the chicken wrangler zombie is at the is on a lane he will with only two shots he will send out a, a a hunch of chickens a heap of chickens and they're fast as heck so you would have to catch them quickly not even a pot or a pea shooter 
could could get all of them. So he'd have to get someone like the Lightning Reed, who does who does ex attacks faster than a pea shooter. Sure, they're not strong enough to um knock down a basic zombie but they can but they can easily kill the chicken zombie chicken wrangler zombie and the chickens the zombie bull's weakness is the tall nut once the the bull zombie appears on a lane he will start to get angry and he'll charge towards your plants but that is until he hits one and then he starts to throw his imp in the middle of the lane luckily the tona is there so when he throws the imp so when he throws the imp he just crashes into the tona and not go go flying into your lanes think of it sort of as like a seat belt for zombies okay guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe um i'm not going to be making another one of these videos because um you can just watch the dev diary of plants vs zombies 2 so anyway please like and subscribe and um i'll see you guys in the next video so yeah bye